Hello guys, gals, and infinity pals, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to go over the best way to make goat with only the synthesis in 2022. Things have changed a ton since my last the synthesis video, and I invested in all sorts of things this time. And if you want to see all the price comparisons, investment versus profit, and the team craft list for all this, then this is going to be here all in this video. And of course, if you would like the written version of this video, then you can go ahead and take a look at the blog post. It has all the images, everything that will go over here in a readable format. And of course, my website has a ton more gill making resources. So I do recommend you going ahead and checking that out. But with all that being said, let's get into it. So with today's video, we're going to cover low investment desynthesis, desynthesis with script items, high investment desynthesis in a brand new way that is actually something I didn't know until people in my chat brought it to my attention. Fish desynthesis, which sounds like you're not going to get anything out of that, but my god, is there some seriously good gill there. And also glamour desynthesis. And of course, I have a list for everything here. If you're wanting the list, I do recommend taking a look at the blog post. All of them will be there. And the link to that will be down below. And so let's start with low investment desynthesis. A little while ago, I noticed that I've been getting a lot of crap furniture items from my retainers. And usually I just post it for like 2k, not deal with it. And I thought, well, what if I just desynthesize it? And I did, and I got more of them off the market board and I realized I am getting a ton of materials, demi materials that I can either sell or the green ones, which I can sell to the vendor. The amount I'm spending on these cheap furniture items, I'm getting way more than what I spent. So I went ahead and went on the market board. And one quick way to figure out what items to go ahead and buy to desynthesize without taking a look at the team craft list is by going to the market board heading over to the furniture items, clicking sort by quantity, and now you have a ton of items that retainers bring back to you. Now make sure the items that you're buying are desynthesizable in a way you know for certain that it is if the item is craftable. If it's a monster drop, if it's only bought with currency like with scripts, or if it's something like from the Criterion Dungeons, you can't go ahead and desynthesize these items but everything else you can. Something like this here, the wyvern piece is brought from the retainer, generally not used a ton, and it is so, so cheap. I mean, you can sometimes find this at 1K, 900 gil only, and if you go ahead and desynthesize all these, you're gonna make bank. But I have a few inventories that I went ahead and filled, and we'll go ahead and see what exactly I made and how much I spent. So here I'm just buying a whole load of different items, starting with the woodland chair. I'm just going down the menu and buying everything that I find under 5k. So I usually stick to items under 5k. Sometimes I take a risk and go a little bit higher than 5k, but usually that is the max. And if it's too expensive on your server, just go on a different one, especially if you're on chaos, light is typically a ton more cheaper. So data center traveling would be worth it if it means you get a ton more for the amount you're spending. And now here I have a full inventory and we're going to go ahead, desynthesize each of these and see what we'll get. And if you're leveling desynthesis, the Tinker's Calm high quality also can help you max out your desynthesis, especially with furniture items. It's a great and cheap way to level your desynthesis per crafter. And you know, I don't even have max desynth on all my crafters. So this is also making gil while leveling. I don't even have my profits min maxed here. You'll be making more than me, especially if you have it fully maxed. So do keep that in mind. And now we're going to start desynthesizing.
and now here is everything that we've got we got a ton of demi materia and a good amount of different base materials but overall a whole lot of stuff and our total inventory cost right now is 531,000, and that's a lot of guilt and a lot of it, it actually comes from demi materia ingots growth formulas and cloths which are used in a ton of crafts and we even got a ton of green materia which is great because we don't have to deal with the market board with that we just sell it straight to the vendor and with that first investment i spent 257,000 gil we made a profit of 274,000. So now let's go on to the next inventory. So here is the next inventory, a whole load more of just cheap tabletop items. Again, I didn't go over 5K per item here. And after the synthesizing all that, we made a total of 518,000, which again is pretty darn good. But how much did I spend exactly? I spent 273,000. We made 518,000 with a profit of 245,000. So again, pretty darn good. We almost doubled what we spent. For the next inventory, we're heading over to the wall mounted items. Again, I'm just buying up to 5k gil, but as you can see, this stuff has been going for 500 gil a piece, 1k, 2k. You can get it super cheap. And with this inventory, I actually didn't make very much off of it. I didn't get any good green materials. I did get a ton of crystal glass which was nice, but the hawk's eyes that I got from the items at the bottom of my inventory are not worth almost anything on my server. So I spent 273,000 and made 354,000 with a profit of only 31,000. I ended up still making profit, but not as much. And now we're on to the next inventory. And you know, combed wool rugs are super cheap. Now I know this is over 5k but you'll see you can actually make quite a lot with it because of the ute yarns and here is our full inventory and after all that has been desynthesized this is what we got our inventory total is 691,000. why well partially due to the ute yarn 134k of it was from the ute yarn and we only got two of them on Louisa, each of them are going for around 68,000 per each and yes people still do buy them and let me tell you you can buy them but you're better off just buying the comb wool rug on its own since it comes from retainers but hey if you want to go ahead and buy it that's fine because i'm selling the ute yarn now that is a ton how much did we end up spending we spent 463,000 gil made 691,000 gil with a profit of 200 and 28. Now, if I got more lucky from the Komol rugs, we would have made a lot more, but still, we made 228k, which is pretty good in my book. Now, onto the next inventory. We're still dealing with some furnishings. Here's my inventory full, and here it is the synthesize. What did we make? 438,000. We spent 307,000, so a profit of 131. Not the best, not the worst, but pretty good. We did get a ton of demi materia though. And since demi materia is only 4k on my server, we got 25 of them. That was an easy 100k profit there. And on to the next inventory. Now this one is actually walls. Yes, you can desynthesize walls and flooring. And I do recommend doing so since of course they come from retainers and they are dirt cheap. And now what did we make here? 531,000 and we only spent 300 and 1k gil. So with making 531k, we made a profit of 230,000, which is great. And now we're on to our final inventory. Spoiler, this one was best. I'm gonna be honest, this was the best one. Oh my god, we made so much gil. And it is crazy how much I spent and how much I made. Now, of course, it is not gonna be like 10 mil, but if you get 10 inventories full, you will make 10 mil. Yep, we made from exteriors 1 million gil after desynthesis and look at that that is a lot of green materia 13 of the base 5k each to the vendor we don't even have to deal with the mark board that is a ton with just green materia we made 65,000. with the clear dimming materia threes we got a good amount of twos and a good amount of blues as well but okay we made one mil how much did we spend we spent only 371,000. Now, of course, I could have done it even cheaper if I hopped 
but I only stayed on Louis Swa. I'm gonna go ahead and go on the other servers, go on to light, get all the exteriors I can, and desynthesize them. Because especially, I'm gonna use all these materials for myself to craft into other exteriors for 6.3. So this one, again, by far, was the best one with furnishings. The other ones are pretty darn good, especially if you just want to go ahead, keep tabs on the stuff by searching by quantity. That's also pretty good. But again, the exteriors are the best. And now on to high investment desynthesis. Now, I watched a few of my older videos and I mentioned this is a pretty good way to go about making go with desynthesis. But I'm here to tell you that it is no longer the case, at least on chaos. A lot of the furniture items that use trial materials for desynthesizing are not worth it. They are not 50% of the material price and it's just not worth it since I'd like to think of it as a 50-50 chance to get the material or not, but honestly, it doesn't feel like it, so it's really not worth it. The only items worth it on Chaos were the Serious Statuette, the Stuffed Tsukiyomi, and the two Byoko Furnishings. Everything else was way too expensive and not worth it at all. And with that desynthesis, we made 2.8 million, which looks pretty good, but how much did I spend? I spent 2.6 million. 2,686,000 to be exact. And I made 2,885,000, so only a measly profit of 199,000. Again, it is just not worth it. Not at all. Am I ever going to do trial desynthesis? Maybe later down the line. Right now, if your server looks anything like mine, it's simply not worth it, and I would go ahead and skip it. So I'm editing the video here, and I just noticed that for some reason, the face crown shield is actually super cheap. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's being posted for 99k each. But you know what? If it looks like this on your server and the dancing wing itself is at around 500k each, this would be pretty worthwhile to go ahead and desynth. I'm just going to go ahead and check the other servers to see if any of them are posted right now around this price range. So again, there are plenty of them at 126 up to 200k and people are always buying them at 99k i don't know where it's coming from but you know what i'm just gonna go ahead take this opportunity and buy a few and get some dancing wings and now let's go on to the cheaper method or the most cost effective method if you don't have a ton of gill which is grip desynthesis now i have mentioned this previously in my script video but it is still pretty viable if dimming material is worth a good amount on your server now what you can do is just craft your white scripts the cheapest way on your server for me i really do just tend to do the rarefied drought it is the cheapest for me since i go ahead and sign my retainer for all the materials but my total for this inventory i spent forty-three thousand gil and i went ahead and bought the adepts thigh boots and adepts hose and here i bought 38 of each i'll go ahead and desynthesize them and what did we get our inventory is now worth 266 thousand which is pretty darn good considering we only spent 43k now what do we get here a bulk of it is from the demi materia twos but not just the demi materia twos are worth a lot it is also the leathers and the cloths that we got archaeonis leather 1.2k each wyvern leather 1.2k each as well and the holy rainbow cloth 2.1k and the rainbow thread 1k each so pretty good especially if demi materia is a good price on your server now what else can we go ahead and desynthesize and buy with white scripts next would be the augmented and masters ring it is 50 scripts per each and i'll go ahead and desynthesize all of them and we'll see what we'll get so from all 50 rings our inventory is worth 194,000. the most expensive item that we get specifically from these augmented hand mastered rings are the astral birch lumber which is quite expensive already since it is used for a lot of expensive furnishing items. Next would be the luminous fiber, which is 6k a piece, which is really, really good. And we got a good amount for only 50 rings and the demi materia is pretty good in the birch lumber. Now we made 194,000. How much did we spend? I spent 21,450 to get these 50 rings, which again is pretty darn good considering how little 
skill we spent. And next and finally is the Hand King's Ring. Again, I have 50 of them and I spent 21,450. We're going to go ahead and desynthesize them. Now, why this ring specifically? It is because of the Storm Sap and the Kingcraft Demi Materia. So after desynthesis, this is what I got. My inventory is worth 124,000, but I'll admit I wasn't very lucky with the Storm Sap. I could have gotten more, but God, luck was not on my side. Although each Storm Sap is worth 10.4K, 10K a piece. So easily 80k there and then King Crap Demon Materia 3.4k and I got 8 so 27k there. And now next up is Glamour. Yes, we're desynthesizing Glamour. What Glamour? Moonfire pieces only. And right now the Moonfire hat is a little bit expensive because I bought a lot of them earlier, but as you can see, you can snag this for 5k a piece. I bought a lot of them around the 19k to 17k a piece, but right now in Phantom, you can get them at 3k a piece, which is pretty good considering how much Moonfire cloth we get. And with the desynthesis, this is what I got. I got five pieces of Moonfire cloth, one green demi materia, and two blue demi materials. Not as lucky as I would have hoped to be, but I still made a profit. I spent a 180k here and with Mariner Cloth being 100k a piece, I got five of them. I just made 500k with around 300 something k in profit, which is pretty darn good. And with the Mariner Cotton Cloth, you can just sell the cloth on its own, but you can also go ahead and craft it into multiple different pieces. And now with the final section is fish desynthesis. Again, I didn't know about this until a chatter in my chat told it to me and I thought, fish? What am I going to get from that? Well, apparently glamour, which I don't know how I missed this, but okay, you can get a ton of really cute and pretty glamour items and most importantly, sought after and expensive. All the items are listed here on the website, but I also have a team craft list, which I'll go ahead and use to find the cheapest fish. So with the fish, I have the team craft list open, but I have two versions of it open. So why I'm doing this is because I have the first list opened with fill prices based on market board prices, which will scan the entirety of my data center for the cheapest prices. And on the other team craft list, I have it open and fill prices based on market board prices, your server only. So what I do is I check the fish. First off is bloodbath. It's two, it is 20k on service, but what do I get for it? For Bloodbath, I get the Gold Roselle Capeline, and with the Gold Roselle, I'm gonna check how much it costs my server. 20k. I'm not gonna make much profit here, so I'm gonna skip that fish. Next up will be the Frilled Shark. What does the Frilled Shark give me? The Frilled Shark gives me the Coronal Summer Halter or the Tea Leaf Lay. And how much do either of those cost? The Tea Leaf Lay is 42k. And the Coronal Summer Halter is 461,000. And the Frilled Shark only costs 80k on Ragnarok. So that's going to be our first fish. Now, again, you don't have to go ahead and buy these fish. You can fish them yourself. Which, another thing about Teencraft that I love is if you go ahead and click the Frilled Shark, you're going to have all the information on the fish, how to fish the fish, and what to use with it, when to find it etc. So all you have to do is click on it and it's going to show all the information here. And here is the filled shark. It shows exactly where to go ahead and fish it, the times, hour of the day, the hook set, bait used, weather transitions, bite time, spots, weathers, etc. Everything is here for that fish and even the descent list. But let's go ahead to Ragnarok buy these fish and see what we get. Well, seems like I can get it for 100k, the inventory. The price is a little bit outdated, so I'll go ahead, take a look at the other servers and see how cheap I can get it. But as you can see from the price history here, 79k, 60k, sometimes all the way down to 50k. If I can go ahead and potentially get a 400k kill item just from desynthesis, that is a pretty darn good chance. Even if I wanted to go ahead and buy this at 100k, I could but I'll go ahead and find the cheapest one. And here is the shark at a pretty good decent price at around 50K. Of course, here I am on light because light seems to always have the cheapest prices. I'm gonna buy all of them and see how much we'll get and what we'll get. Now let's go ahead and descent. And the best part about desynthesizing fish is that if it's in a stack, you can do the entire stack with just one click. So we got the flying sand, but we did get two coronal summer halters and one tea leaf lay, 
and another coronal summer halter. So it's not guaranteed that you'll get the coronal halter every single time since I did get once only one flying sand. But the odds are pretty darn good considering I got three of them. And with the summer halter being 461,000 per each, we just made around 300k profit, which is amazing. That is really good. And now the tea leaf fight is 42,000, but that did basically cover my cost. So with three 400,000 Chronal Summer Halters, we just made 1.2 million plus 42,000 from the tea leaf fate. So we just made way, way much more than we spent on those fish. Now, again, if I went ahead and fished the fish myself, I would have saved a good amount. Even if you want to go and fish the fish just to sell it, that's a good way to also make gills since the fish is 50k a piece. And here is the Chronal Summer Halters. And yes, people do buy it at 439k even just three days ago. So guys, that's how you can make a heck ton of gold with just the synthesis in the year 2022. Now, I know 2022 is almost over. I'll just make another one for 2023. We'll see. The market's not going to change that quickly, but if I do find something, I'll of course update the blog post and let you guys know. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. You guys keep the channel going. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye-bye.